me to give honor to whom honor is due this afternoon. Can you rise up with me? His name is Jesus. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. my sister, uh, precious woman of God, Pastor Blessing. Thank you for having me. Please put your hands together for Jesus. I want to appreciate you, precious people of God, men and women of God seated. Um, Pastor Sarah, I know you from somewhere. You know my you. brother. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. God the, the Lord has brought me here this hour to remind you of three things, people of God. Number one, that Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Number two, that we are in the world, but we are not part of the world. Amen. So we cannot afford to live our lives like they do there. Number three, to remind you that the only and the perfect example given unto us to follow is Jesus. Yes. Looking unto Jesus and Jesus alone, the author and the finisher of Hallelujah. our faith. Amen. 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 Don't look at the men and the women of God out there especially if they are not following the scriptures. Paul was so confident of himself. He said, people, you know what? Follow me as I follow Christ. The only perfect example given unto you I like to follow, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't follow them out there. It doesn't matter their titles. Mm. So that you will not end up in the same way they will end. Praise the Lord. Please take these three points home today. Amen. 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 Wonderful women. Oh, women of wonder. Wow. Hallelujah. I can read that Amen. on your t-shirt. The will of God for you is to be a wonder in your home. Yes. To be a wonder in your marriage. Yes. Not only in the church, not only in the society, not only in the community, but first of all, in your home. A wonder. A wonder to your husband. A wonder to your wife. A wonder to your children. Mm. Glory be to God. Amen. That is who you will be from now onwards Amen. and your husband will be able to testify Amen. The, wow my wife is a wonder Amen. and your children will be able to testify like never before say wow mom you are a wonder Amen. that will be your portion in the name of Jesus Amen. precious people one morning in September 2011 the Lord woke me up and said, share these messages with my people. Glory be to God. Amen. The message of the Lord endureth forever. Amen. God still sees us as his people. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Share these messages with my people, he said. 
And as I was hearing, I was writing like a, you know, a boss dictating information to the secretary. Most of the book was waiting on my knees. As I was hearing for him, I was writing. Glory be to God. Um, the first message, seven satanic weapons against marriages. Why are marriages what they are like today, even in the church? Second message, a forgiving heart. The third message, your responsibilities towards your man or the woman of God. By the grace of God, we've been able to put the, the first message into a book. Seven satanic weapons against marriages. Number one, not God. Many marriages started with God, but before you know it, they have thrown God out of the windows of their heart. How could you enter into a journey of marriage without God? Marriage instituted by God, the second institution made by God. Marriage came with a manual. If your marriage is to be successful, you need to study the manual, which is the Bible. If you do it God's way, you will have God's results. Amen. Amen. It was said concerning Joseph, and Joseph prospered because God was with him. Three times in the book of Genesis. And Joseph prospered because God is with him. You also will prosper Amen. in your home. Amen. You will prosper in your marriage. Amen. You will prosper in your relationship with your husbands, with your wife, with your children, Amen. only if God is with you. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? I have a good news for you this hour. The righteous will pray Amen. and pray and pray until something happens. Amen. God is a God of second chance. Yes. Because of the time, I will not be able to, um, to go through the weapons one by one, but I will encourage you to grab a copy for your own good. And Archbishop read this book and called and said, Margaret, well done. Well, I threw the well done back to Jesus because I didn't do anything. He said, this book is a remedy and a treasure for every home. He said, Margaret, I will, I, will, um, I will proclaim it, not because of the money, but because of the messages the book carries. He said he has read many books on marriage, but this one is different because of the message it carries. Weapon number two, no fellowship. You have time for everything. You don't have a family altar. A prayerless person is a powerless person. Jesus said, men ought to pray always and not to faint. Mm. Husband, wife, you need to pray because of your adversary, the devil, looking for whom to devour, like a roaring lion. Like, he's not a lion, but he's a fake one. Like a roaring lion, looking for whom to devour. His mission is to kill, to steal, and to destroy homes and marriages. For those that will let him, glory be to God in the highest. The third weapon, no love, stroke no regular sex in marriage. On that point, <laughs> look, the atmosphere is so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> On that point, the men and the women of God, they are too holy, they are too spiritual. They don't talk about it, they don't preach it. They are quiet on it, but a powerful tool in the hand of the devil to break homes, to damage and to destroy marriages. But that is why, glory be to God, God has uh, uh, raised something like me to stand before his people anywhere, anytime, and preach it from the Holy Ghost pulpit. Amen. 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 
God in the highest. You know some people, they are holier than the Holy Ghost. <laughs> they are holier than the Holy Ghost. They will say, what? An evangelist talking about sex and marriage from the pulpit? Oh my God, she must be very, very carnal. <laughs> Glory be to God in the house. <laughs> Wherever I go, because they don't talk about it or preach it, it is an opportunity for me yeah. to speak it yes. and preach it yes. and talk about it yes. so that somebody's home preaching will be transformed. Amen. Glory be to God yeah. in the house. No love, mm -hmm. no sexual, regular sex in marriage. Why? Because at the beginning, people of God, they misunderstood lust for love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you, I love you, I love you. I lost you. When they were cutting, it was a lie. Because if it wasn't a lie, how will... Yes. A husband filed for divorce 24 hours after marriage. Mm. Yeah. Lost is sensual. Mm. Lost is temporal. Mm. Lost is 419. Lost is worldly. Mm. Lost is devilish. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But look at love. Mm. The love is so powerful. It loves to the end. Love is so powerful. Galatians chapter 5. It, it gave birth to the rest uh, fruit of the spirit. Yeah, yeah, Where there yeah. is love, there is peace. Yeah, yeah. Where there is love, there is joy. Mm. Where there is love, there is um, um, self-control. Where there is love, there is humility. Where there is love, there is faith. Where there is love, complete it. Gentleness. And um, patience, God love bless you. Long suffering, where there is love. Goodness. 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 Faith. Goodness. You are precious people. Can you uh, clap? Clap your hands. <laughs> clap your hands. Love loves to the end. Love loves all the time. Love covers a multitude of sins. Love covers excuses. But hatred exposes them. <laughs> so why is it that I love you? I love you. I love you. You are the only sugar in my tea. The only uh, the only cockroach in my cupboard. The only mosquito in my net. The only tomato puree in my in my jar of rice. It was a lie. It was a lie. Why is it that the song changed two, three months after marriage? Why? Because it was all along lost. Yeah. Not love. Mm. Not love. But I have a good news for you. You can bring back into your home the presence of God. Amen. You can bring back into your home a family altar. Amen. You can bring back into your home affection, love indeed. Unwaving love. Unconditional love. Unchanging love. Look, many people, they say, I love you because of the physical beauty. Mm. What happens if uh, an, acid, uh, an acid falls on the face of this beautiful wife? Mm -hmm. So the love will fly away, straight away. Mm. Some people say, I love you because of what they want from you. Mm -hmm. Look, <laughs> time is running. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4 and verse 5. The Holy Spirit and I, we are speaking. Woman, you have no power over your body but your husband. Husband, you have no power over your body but your wife. Defraud ye not one another. Starve ye not one another. Deny ye not one another. Deprive ye. I don't know if there's any other English you can help me with. <laughs> Sent by the Holy Holy Spirit, except in the case of fasting and prayer. When both of you will agree, honey darling, there's an issue here. We need to fast and pray. I 
And the Holy Spirit said, immediately, after your fasting and prayer, come together quickly. Before the Holy Spirit, before the devil, before the devil tempts you. Oh, you don't believe me? Please, I want somebody to read it. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4 and verse 5 only. You have no excuse to disobey. Why are people disobeying the scriptures today in the church? Number one, they will say that um, oh, the husband is pregnant now. Pregnant. Meaning that the, the husband is out of shape. It's got a pot belly. Who made him like that? <laughs> Women of wonder. Who made your husband like that? I don't know. You did. Because of the food you, you feed your husband with. Some people, some wife will complain. Oh, there is a mouth odor, there's body odor. Look, it's because your love has run out, has run out. Because you knew about these odors when you were caught in, you did not complain. Why are you complaining now? Hatred exposes things. Another reason, they will say, oh, the man is not available. And when he's available, he's always tired. He doesn't reach the climax. They are not satisfied. Whose fault is that? Nine o'clock, my brother is smiling at me seriously. <laughs> so the Lord is speaking. <laughs> Whose fault is it? 9 p.m., you serve my brother, your precious husband, with pounded yam and a palatable ephorio. Excuse me, what do you expect? <laughs> God bless you, ma. Give my brother two minutes after that. He will snore. You won't see your husband's face again until tomorrow morning. <laughs> Glory be to God in the house. Yeah. Job, Job. Make love making what husband and wife will look forward to. Listen, look, if you are married and you say you hate sex, you need deliverance. <laughs> It means you have problem with the forces of darkness. You have spiritual husband, you have spiritual wife. I'm telling you the truth. You have spiritual problem. Please see Pastor Blessing for deliverance. Sex is only for the marriage and the son. Sorry, it's only for the marriage. Singles, don't go there. Don't go there. Singles, don't go there. Otherwise, you are talking with hellfire. Jesus is coming soon. <laughs> no, God will not change his word because of you. He is not the author of confusion. Don't say because it's winter. Look, go and service the radiator. Service it properly. Call your landlord. Let them service your... No excuse for sin. He or she that is born of God does not come in sin. Don't follow them that says... Once you are saved, you are saved forever, so you are free to do whatever you like. You will end up where you are going to end up. He or she that is born of God does not commit sin. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. I had a time to go to one fellowship, and uh, I, I said, God, what am I doing here? I quickly withdrew myself. Because the guest speaker says, ah, you are free. All the sins you will commit next week is already been forgiven. The sins you will commit next month is already covered. Hey. Come and see how the people they shouted for joy. Say, Jesus. Hey. My God. So, <laughs> fornication, continue. Hey. You are covered. Hey. Adultery. Hey. Glory be to God. Hey. But this gathering is not part of them. Amen. Hey. Because I know the woman of God. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Look, be attracted to one another. Don't see marriage as a trap. 
said, well, I am actually unmarried. He cannot leave me. He has left you months ago. <laughs> From his heart. Because you are married now, you, you, you neglect yourself. You used to look nice, nice on point before. Yes. But because you are married, <laughs> and the husband is saying, oh my God, what did I put myself into? She is no longer as sweet as she used to be. And husbands, you complain that your, your wife, my precious sister, has gone from size 14 to size 22. Man, precious man, you've forgotten that uh, this precious wife gave back to your children. And you, re you, you forgot to monitor her shape after deliveries. Mm. Now you are complaining. Thank God for couples who still share the same room. Yes. The same bed. Mm -hmm. At night, the husband will sleep and face that way. <laughs> the wife will sleep and face that way. So there's a big gap for the devil. So throughout the night, the devil will speak to the wife. The, so at the night, the devil will speak to the husband. In the morning when they wake up, in fact, the way they will squeeze at each other as if they've just drank lemon juice. <laughs> and are you wives that you refuse to forgive your husband? And you say, I know where I will catch him. <laughs> I know where I will catch him. So at night time, when my brother wants to uh, exercise his wife, you nag him, you frown your face, you send him away. You are doing yourself. Because if you send him out, if somebody has hook him up, now you will, you will start complaining, you start crying. And you say you're in the church. You're a Christian. Are you a Christian or are you a believer? And when they are singing, I am in that number. I am in that number. I am in that number. I am. Who told you that you are in the number? Who told you? There are two faces in the world, in the church today. One face at home, one face in the church. <laughs> you come to the church. You dance all this harunto, what do you call it? Asunto. You call, you dance very well. Dance away your sorrow. <laughs> Come to the church with nice uh, Bavarian, Brazilian. What do you call this thing? <laughs> with heavy makeup. You look nice. You came to the church for a social gathering, but hmm. at the end of the dancing, uh, you go back home into a life of depression into a life so unpleasant and you are crying to God God, how long will I live like this for? And I feel so sorry for the women of God, the pastor's wife bishop's wife <laughs> you know the men, the, the pastors and the bishop and the pope and the senior major prophets they have given up on sex and they are, good. they are women, they are so active and beautiful. And whenever they feel like, they, they feel like having sex with their husband, look, that is when the husband will begin to speak in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> this man of God will begin to speak in tongues. And when the wife sees this holier than that attitude, she withdraws herself. To where? For how long? So that is where you see them <laughs> making ways. That's where you see a pastor, a lady pastor snatching the, the, the husband of a member. And they ask you, excuse me, why? And so what? A lady pastor, where is her husband? The husband is not active. The wife is active. So who is going to help them? And they are pastors. They are uh, prophets and major and senior, whatever they call themselves. Precious people, Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Love making between the married is what you should look forward to. Enjoy yourself. The Bible says so. Enjoy the wife.
wife of your truth, um, of your youth, husband, enjoy your wife. Wife, enjoy your husband. They ask me on TV, excuse me, woman of God, who should make the first move? <laughs> I said it is 50-50. <laughs> the instruction is 50-50. Man, you have no power but the wife. Wife, 50-50. Husband, if you are here, and your wife wants to, you, you cannot say no. If you say no, you are, <laughs> you will give an account to God. Amen. And precious sister, women of wonder, don't let your wife make you feel as if you are worldly, as if you are carnal. When you make the first move, you have the right to do so. Clap for Jesus. The Holy Spirit says so. Amen. Amen. And I want to let you know, don't abuse it at the same time. Don't say, hi, I attended Pastor Blessings <laughs> event today, and I listened to one evangelist, Margaret Olatundi, who said regular sex in marriage is the will of God. So, in the morning, let's go now. <laughs> in the afternoon, come on now. At night time, let's go to the extent that when my sister sees you, <laughs> her heart will jump. That is not what I'm preaching about. Let that be control. This book will tell you about it. Let that be control. She'll be so scared to the extent that at night, she will, she will start addressing with the nightcap. <laughs> nightcap. Night dress, Leggings. tight, Leggings. yeah, Leggings. socks, Leggings. and dressing, the dressing gown on top of it. So that when my brother enters their bedroom, he will say, God, where will I start from? God, where will I start on, where will I start from? So there is nothing that night. Glory be to God. Yeah. Time will not permit me, but I will just share one or two of my experience. Experience is the best teacher. Yeah. I was married for seven years and three months before God called my husband home. I remember um, my husband was the overseer under a denomination in France. So he came home. Obviously, he has missed me. I have missed him. And he ran me from, from Victoria. I said, guess what? I said, what? He said, there's going to be war tonight. <laughs> war. I was wondering, war? For where? War. Immediately, I understood my husband. I said, OK. We will see who will win. <laughs> Oh, you know my husband. Yes, sir. You know my husband. Yes, sir. Very, look, that man asked them. Very handsome, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a very handsome. Yeah. yeah, handsome, tall, yeah. and yeah. very gentle, very quiet. Yeah. He was a man of God. He was a lecturer in yeah. Holy College. He was Margaret's husband. He was uh, Sarah's uh, uh, father. Yes. Look, when my husband got home, no matter what the title he bought out there, he would drop everything at the door. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, my husband. <laughs> so, husband, don't just grab and descend on my sister like that. She's not a machine. <laughs> yeah. You need to prepare one another. <laughs> prepare your mind. Yeah. Let, let it be an exciting thing to look forward to. You are free. You are entitled to it. Yeah. It is a privilege, a gift from heaven yeah. for God's sake. Don't be too holy yeah. in your home towards your husband or towards your wife. Yeah. Don't be too holy. Don't be too holier than the Holy Ghost. These are your rights. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Another experience. Uh, the last one. Don't ask me who won. Don't, don't ask me. Another one. You know, in winter, I don't like wearing tights and socks and all that. So we went out for visitation and getting home, my feet were frozen. Well, my husband went to the bathroom 
um, brought out a bowl with warm water. He sat on the floor and put my feet in and massaged my feet until it came back to normal. Precious people, don't ask me what followed. <laughs> <laughs> Love making, it is your right, your privilege. You are married, but you are single. You are married, but you are single because the love has run out. Amen? You are married, but you are like tenants under the same roof, husband and wife. Look, if there is no sex in that marriage, you are just like, you are just, you are, you are tenants. You are divided in everything. The Holy Spirit is seriously convicting somebody. Yeah. There is silence in the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. How can you, you know, when you are cutting, there is an error I observed. When you are cutting, you hardly let one another go. My husband will come and visit me. Yeah. I will follow him up to the bus stop. He will follow me back to where we are coming from. We will follow. So we are married. We have the license and the certificate That's right. to do whatever we want, we like, uh -huh. without, without anybody's problem. That's right. Glory be to God Hallelujah. in the highest. Hallelujah. So today, in marriages, Instead of love to grow from one level to another, from one level to another, but it is diminishing every time, every time, every time. From I love you to I hate you, from I love you, you are the single thing in my or whatever, to, you know, he doesn't want to see your face at all. When did you allow the devil in? When? No communication, another weapon. No money, but people of God are lying. No money, the husband is running businesses without the wife knowing. No money, no money, the wife is building houses in Lekki or somewhere in Syria alone without the husband knowing. And you say you are going to heaven. I don't know which one you are talking about because the heaven that uh, uh, it's in this book. Liars don't go there. That's right. That's right. No, no to the int intruders, the, the in laws and the outlaws. You cannot protect your husband, nor protect your wife. You allow the in laws to come, they have the gods to come into your house and speak ill of your wife and your husband. In fact, you give the devil a cheer. Devil, <laughs> you're welcome. You can sit down. <laughs> But when you say, hey, Mom, Dad, I respect you, mm -hmm. I love you, but never again should you speak about my husband the way you just did, mm -hmm. nor should you speak about my wife the way you just did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will not do it the second time. That's right. That's right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The last weapon, no forgiveness. I like Peter, I love him, very curious always asking questions. He went to the master. The master, excuse me, how many times will my brother offend me before I could retaliate? Jesus said 70 times 7. 490 times. Precious people, if two demons are living together under the same roof, there is no way they can offend one another 490 times in a day. So Jesus is teaching us to be in readiness to forgive all the time. Husbands, forgive your wives. Wife, forgive your husband. Glory be to God. Glory be to God in the highest. The Lord said, add this to the book, extra one, your marriage and your tongue. Extra two, your marriage and your children. Extra three, which I found to be very scary. Prepare to meet your maker. Meaning that one day, whether you are married or you are single, 
we are going to stand before the righteous judge. His name is Jesus. Amen. Will you do it with joy? Like a faithful servant. Or will you do it with fear and trembling? Jesus is coming very soon. Are you prepared? You are very active in the church. You sing like Florence Nightingale. You preach like Brother Paul. But is your name written in the book of life? Does Jesus know you? Jesus said, not all that call me Lord, Lord, will inherit the kingdom of God, but those that doeth the will of my Father who is in heaven. Husband, take time to find out what is the will of the Father concerning your ministry as a husband and give yourself to that. Husband, love your wife as Christ loves the church and gave himself for it. Wife, see that you reverence your husband. That see means make sure. Pay attention to that. Some wives, they will come. Daniel, you don't know whether they are calling the houseboy or they are calling their husband. No respect. You see, husband and wife go to church together and the wife quietly observes the husband, how loving and caring he is to the women in the church. And she said, oh my God, so my husband can be this loving and caring? Well, I never knew it at home. The husband the same way. The wife, very respectful, polite to the men in the church. And the husband said, wow, wow. So my wife can be this polite and respectful. But I never knew it at home. In churches today, you see some people, they want to speak to the pastor. They will be on their knees from the beginning of the conversation to the end. But <laughs> uh, don't let me tell the story at home. At home. And some husbands are suspecting, excuse me, the way you talk about your pastor, the type of respect you show your pastor, something, there's something between you two. There's something, there's a something. You don't even give such respect to me, your husband at home. Why? What is between you and that pastor? So there is confusion. Charity begins from home. Women of wonders, your home is your number one ministry. That's right. You cannot give what you don't have. If you want to clap, clap for Jesus very well. If you are given a choice, your home or the church, your marriage or the church, which one will you go for? Uh, but which one? My marriage. My marriage. Clap for yourself. Your marriage, your home is number one. Glory be to God in the highest. Yeah. When uh, a, a, a woman of wonder makes his home, her husband peaceful at home. Look, he will be out there to do whatever God wants him to do, and he will be a blessing to the to the body of Christ out there. If a wife knows and enjoys the love of a husband, my God, that is all that my sister needs. She just wants to know that my husband loves me. That's all. She will do all she can to make sure that that marriage is a success. Glory be to God. I encourage you, precious people, grab a copy. So, it's just 10 pounds. So, 10 pounds only into the King and I ministries and be blessed. Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Precious people, it's the truth that you put into practice that will set you free. Amen. Knowledge plus the application equals to wisdom. The wisdom that you need to build up your home. The Bible said, the word did not profit them anything because they did not mix it with faith in their hearts. So
So they just heard the word for hearing sake. But that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've exceeded my time. <laughs> Glory be to God in the highest. I pray for you, precious people. You will not be the hearers and the readers alone, Amen. but the doers of the word of God. Amen. At the end of this book, there are 25 questions and answers for the singles. Wherever I go, I say, please, if you are single here, let me see your hands up. So, are you single? Let me see your hands. God bless you, precious people. I personally congratulate you that you are still single. Because there are some information you need to acquire. There are some types of prayers you need to pray so that you will not become a prey tomorrow. So that the devil will not wait for you in the area of marriage. Most couples, they are crying out for help today. Some of them are, they have gone, they have died. Some of them are in mental homes because of the type of depression that their marriage caused them. That will not be your portion, singles, in the name of Jesus. And in your searching for Mr. Wright, in your searching for Miss, Mrs. Wright, Please involve your woman of God. Don't do it alone. And the last one, the Bible said that he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, because he has obtained favor from the Lord. In the churches today, you see women trying to <laughs> find the man. They have turned the Bible around. So they position themselves in such a way to be seen by this man, and this man is not even looking there. <laughs> and don't give God specification. Don't say, um, I want him to be six feet tall. I want him, I don't want him, to, I don't want him from, uh, from Chinese. Uh, he must be from Nigeria, or from Ghana, or from Syria alone, or from Zimbabwe. I don't want him to, too dark. I want him to be chocolate. What do you know? What do you know? Commit your request unto God. Who knows the hearts of all men? Let him choose for you. Singles, don't be deceived that, okay, time is going, time is running. He that laughs last, laughs best. God will make all things beautiful for you at his own time. It doesn't matter the age. He is your father. He knows that you have need of all these things. Married tonight. Let something happen in that bedroom. Mom, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let something happen in your bedroom. Your, your bed is so lukewarm. It's about to die completely. Oh the fire of romance is dead. Long time ago, we need to, we need to resuscitate it. Thank you, sir. Resuscitate. Be romantic for heaven's sake. Be romantic. Look good. Look nice. Look attractive. Smell nice. Pay attention to your personal hygiene. Let your husband know that there is nothing in a woman that he's looking for that is not in you. I'll tell you. <laughs> he doesn't have to look outside at all. His eyes and his heart are only meant to be on you. I'll tell you. I agree with you, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Glory be to God in the highest. Has uh, somebody been blessed today? Has yeah. uh, somebody been blessed today? Yeah. You see, my, my precious sister, she looks uh, so humble, gentle, quiet. She may be shy. You know, um, she may not be able to, to deliver this particular message yeah. unto you. So because of time, um, uh, I won't be able to go deeper. 
into how your relationship should be the best. Amen? Amen. Another church is waiting for me now. So I'm going to leave very soon. But I want you to do something. Grab a copy. So 10 pounds only. Look, you will spend more than 10 pounds uh, at McDonald's, at uh, Chinese, at uh, Shoi B, you know. The wear, buy, the common wear, or what do you call it? When you are to get something that will bless your life and be a blessing to somebody, that is when you'll be grumbling. Glory be to God. I will still hang around for a few minutes. Grab a copy. If you've been blessed today, let's rise up together. I just want to pray with the singles. My heart goes more for the singles. Singles, please. Close your eyes and let me just agree with you. Precious Father, thank you. Thank you for your precious people. Thank you for the singles. Looking up unto you for whom to marry. Abba Father. Choose for them yourself. Let that be a divine connection. The bones of their bones, the flesh of their flesh, I decree, O oh Lord. Let this be their portion. Give them the grace to wait patiently unto you. Help them, O oh Lord, not to help themselves. Thank you, Father, because this you will do. Because I decree it so. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the marriage. Abba, Father, I commit their homes, their relationships, their marriages into your hands. Let there be peace, O oh Lord. Amen. Let real love be restored, O oh Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Kindle the fire of romance, O oh God. Give them the grace they need to be a blessing to one another, even until Jesus comes. Bind them together, O oh God, with your cord that can never be broken. This I decree, Abba Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Give a clap offering unto Jesus. A clap offering unto Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. Thank you, precious Father.